Hello everybody, this is BSCAT100 and welcome to a different type of video. No, I am not getting paid to uh, put up this video, just saying that outright. I wanted to do this on my own. This is the Indivisible Prototype from the Lab Zero, Lab Zero Studios, the makers of Skullgirls. This is their next project in action adventure R RPG. And they had made it clear that it was okay to make videos on this, and I know people have already have, and I want to put in my two cents for it. So, let's get started, shall we? as soon as everything starts to move. There we go. So it's the, uh, it's a 2D, you know, left and right uh, game, at least right now. But you can, you know, obviously you can go up and down, you can crouch. Let's head down. First thing that you can tell is- Rotate, wait! First, they've they've already picked their voice actors, obviously. Otherwise, they wouldn't have gotten this far. Uh, how do I jump again? There's a. How do I jump? How do I jump? How do I jump? Uh, okay. One. Okay. Okay. Uh. That actually works out better. That's good. I hope you guys can still hear it. If not, I'll just... I'll, I'll do something. Let's get into the battle systems, are we? So, obviously you can map the, the keys and everything to what you need it to be. Let's get into the battle system. Kill the border means the enemy is attacking. To defend, hold down. Uh, the action button defending cost. Really? Interesting. Alright. So basically, how you want to defend is you the same way you attack, just when others are attacking. And then you attack the you attack with the button. That you mapped. Yeah, wait. Well, actually, yeah. after winning a battle, and you were converted to health. Oh yes. So the itty meter. You can't you can't see my mouse anymore. Um, in the top right. Uh, that. Um, that fills up over time, I believe. Um. And it'll allow you to defend. It'll allow you to use special attacks. Um. And anything left in it will can be will be converted to health at the end of the battle. You can double tap the buttons to to dash. Yeah, 
So holding up or down. Yeah, there there are different attacks. So if you hold up or down, you can do a variety of an attack. Um, that Ajna. I'm gonna have to get uh, get used to the character names Ajna can do. So let's try it. Let's try it. Attack. So there's a little spin kick. Oh no, attacking. Not enough. Attacking builds up the gauge, okay. Back off. Now anything you do will build up the Not gauge, enough. right? Okay. I think, I don't know, I, I'm still kind of confused on the system. I believe that the act of defending will lower the gauge, but if you defend properly, you'll regain what you lost. Seems about right. Obviously, it, the only reason this is laggy, by the way, is because I'm, uh, I'm working uh, on processing another video at the moment. The reason it's, oh, hello. Switch targets, you can, yeah, okay. Pressing another video right now, so this isn't its full potential. I'm really not doing it justice. I'm ready, Ajna. All right, welcome, Zabi, the archer. Now I don't know how this is actually going to work in the real game. I don't I don't know if he's going to randomly join us like he does here or if he is like a recruitable character. I don't know. Can't go up there right now. So let's chat. Not gonna give us a tutorial? No? Okay. <laughs> Heads up! So that's basically how it works. You will... Oh, okay. Yeah, here's another mechanic. So, you can map out the buttons, but you need to be careful of where the characters are faced. So, like, say the enemies are, are the way that Ajna is facing right now. Ajna is facing the enemies here. Um, the button mapped to her will, will, op will actually be the opposite um, of if she's assigned he here. And vice versa for another character who might be on this side. It'll switch positions. So now we have wall jumping. Pretty simple. Press the jump button when you're near a wall. And you'll be able to jump off of that wall. Like so. Take the high path, take the low path. I don't know if there's an actual boss program into this. I know there are bigger enemies, but that's pretty much all to my knowledge of playing this. Um, and since we're not getting any experience right now, I'm not going to attempt, or I'm not going to try to fight as many enemies as I can, because... 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 Um, but we can, we, can, we can continue exploring. I'm liking the music. I love the character design. It's very, it's very realistic. Personalities, not really much. You get, a, you get a very limited view of the personality at the moment. Um, if you want to know more information on this game, uh, I will put a link to the trailer and playable prototype in the description below. Um, I like the system. I like the battle system. It's a lot easier than having to, you know, go through so many menus to pick out what you want to do. You kind of just, you press, a, you press a button to attack and then you press the same button to defend. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. I like it. Anyway, let's keep going because we actually, we actually have more characters that we can Okay, so the character that's going to be attacked is actually going to glow red, I think. If 
I'm not mistaken, when they're gonna be attacked. Stay back. I don't know. Get away! Yeah, I think that I think they have a slight red glow if they're gonna be attacked. So you need to you need to react quickly. And really know your button mappings. Be comfortable be comfortable with your button Stay mappings. Back. But Alright, with at least one level of the eighty meter Oh yeah. So now we can activate a special skill, so to say. So let's let's activate Ajna's just for the heck of it. So we'll hold this and Oh no, it's time. Hold this. I don't remember that. Back off! Did they change it? Okay, so Zevi can now attack. Did, did they change it? Or maybe I just have to uh, press a specific button mapping in order to do that. Which means I'm going to have to spread my fingers. Eh, not that far, but... Alright. Check this out! We got blow! I don't know why she didn't attack both. Stay back! I'm definitely gonna be let's play in this game when uh, whenever it comes out. But like I said, this is a proto uh, a playable prototype for now. And I'll pro I will keep updated. I've already donated 60 to the Indiegogo campaign. Um, if you like what if you like what you see here, go over to the campaign page and you know, get me some donations. They're, they're working pretty hard on this game, and I'd say it's, it's working out pretty well. Yeah, get away! No way! <laughs> Heads up! Alright, alright. The first time I was playing this game, I was kind of just like rushing to see if there was any plot or anything. I wasn't really. Get away! Um. Acknowledging. Let me show you how it's done, youngins. Hunger, the Arumi master, has come to fight by our side. So now this is where it gets a little tricky, because now you have three characters to worry about instead of just one or two. I see that axe over there. Um, sorry, button mapping. Still trying to get used to mine. Uh, whoop. Actually, no, I'm going to go down, because I need that axe. You got the axe used to traverse the environment in new ways. I'm not, whoa, 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 shit. Uh, Oh, not the black ones. I know that sounded racist. Ow. Look out uh, the black ones are strong. Check this out. I'm trying to get out. But now that uh, Anji has the axe, she can actually use it to attack in battle, which is interesting. Get away! I shot the main. This is confusing because they're all on a they're all on a line. Uh, they're all in a line, so I can't really get a visual on where everything is. Anyway, using the axe, does she have one equipped already? She does. Alright. Um. You can use it to climb. Obviously not this, because, uh, because there's something in the way, but if it's something like this, you can use it to climb higher, and if you hold the action button down, you can just... Oh, you can also use it to cut the thorns here. Um, you, you can spend as much time as you need to kind of think things out before making your next move. At least that's that's the vibe I'm getting from it for now, so... Right? But you, you gotta remember that some of these things can't be climbed, or can't be axed. Like walls like this can definitely be axed. Stuff like this? Yes. Are you gonna prove me game? Are you gonna prove me wrong, game? Um... Just take my word for it then, because apparently the game is not willing to cooperate with my commentary. I'm 
now you can find wall jumping with the axe climbing. I mean, you don't need to use the axe all the time. I just like using it because, like, you're axing a wall. Buggers, which I don't need to worry, get, worry about because I actually need to go up top. No, no, no. Like I said, we're not getting experience or anything right now. The only thing we're getting is the ability to attack more times in one turn. So, oops. Wall jumping is a difficult skill. Alright, okay. the attack. Is. The question is, isn't who's being attacked? The question is, who's doing the attacking? Wait. Oh, just the Button mapping is finest. Ow. Get away! Like I said, you have to be quick. Get the clip at the at your reactions here. Down. Alright, let's use a. Uh, let's use a special skill that Zebby has. Go, Zebby, go! If I press the right button, then it's. Oh, I think. I think that depending on what Ajna has equipped, she does a different skill. That's it. Alright. Let's go on to the next area. Look at that artwork, first of all. Let's just stand here and admire the ambience for a minute here. The artwork in the background. Like I said, it's it's only a 2D movement thing. You can only go left to right and, yeah. you know, up and down. But you can't go in and out in a 3D uh, environment. But it has the elements of the 3D in it. Like, the stuff in the background. It has the... The difference between the ground that you're standing on right now and the, something's up, is something up there? No. No? No, okay, invisible wall. Um, and then the, the 3D aspect of the background. And I, I think it. In some ways, it's going to be somewhat like Xenoblade, where if you can see it, you can, you're going to go to it in a bit. Because I have a feeling that once yeah. production is done, we're going to be able to get to that tree in the background there. Uh, not again. Alright. Apparently, we're, we're chasing after her pet, her pet right now. Oh, gosh! We can actually also get first strikes on these guys, which I want to do yeah. now! Nice. Look out below! But uh, just keep in mind that these guys are actually a little bit stronger in this second area. Alright, we're behind them for some reason. Look out below! Alright, we're getting the hang of the system now. Alright, let's uh. Oh! So that that gauge is essentially a special attack. Check and this out. Don't. What the? What the heck happened there? Did you just enter the battle? Enemies can do that? No, it's not a glitch. He's being attacked. Whoa! I don't think that's supposed to happen. No. Heads up! Look out below! I think that's something. No. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, some of them have moves that can that can harm all of them at once. <laughs> It's something that I don't use. Hey, how dare you? Yeah, massive damage. Well, as massive as it can get. Uh, I'll just 
Yes, I know, I know. I think that was just kind of bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, this guy is, is pretty strong. I do know, now that, now that I think about it, there is a boss. Now, um, there, there is a boss at the end. Unfortunately, I have not been able to see it again. And I have a feeling that's like the end of the game. So, we'll try to get there. I was just taking a long, a big blow. There we go. Alright. Oh, no, 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 and as you can see there, the, the gauge actually has... Uh, what do you want? Rosby the Shamanist. Alright, um... As you can see there, the gauge actually has multiple tiers. And... The more you use up the gauge, the powerful your attack is gonna be. So this isn't just a, um... You know... A typical R RPG fashion, fashion where you have to, you know, manage your magic points and progress. First thing to note is that the magic is um, that the magic is is essentially spread out throughout the party. All of the party uses it at once. Yay. Uh, not yay, I just realized what on this... Wait. Check this out! Essentially, our healer, and I don't want 
system. It's simple, and yet at the same time, it requires your full attention. It's not, it's not like some games where you can kind of do a lot of shit. You actually need to think, you need to look, you need to know who's being attacked at what point, and, and what is, uh, what is the button best to defend them. It's also uh, a nice RPG right on, to right. be able to map your keys, because if, if say, the uh, the buttons were three targets, and, and you couldn't remap them, that's it. You couldn't... You would probably have a, a harder time, because it's not what you know on the PC. Or whatever game system it is. Uh, this is actually going to be uh, out for PlayStation and Xbox as well, which obviously you don't have a choice in the matter. But if you have an Xbox or, or PlayStation and you've used it for for a while, that's a completely different matter because the buttons are kind of all planned out for you. But here on the keyboard, this is um, you know you have a lot more variety, and each person is comfortable in their own way. Um, <laughs> with uh, an individual button mapping. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. That's the point I was trying to get across. Let's keep going. This is probably going to be a long video. If it is, uh, I haven't figured that out already. Because I'm, I'm going to try to get to the boss, and I'm going to try to defeat it. Whether that's going to happen or not is a completely different, uh, other, uh, completely other story. I actually need to do it from this side. My apologies. Um, but, you can at least try. You know. It's a difficult boss. I haven't been able to defeat it yet. So, what happens after that is kind of uh, up in the air as opposed to what I know. Alright, I guess we're going down to the lower path. Sure, let's do it. I pressed that button. Yeah. why it wasn't working. I see. So I was right. It does sacrifice some of the gauge, but if you defend successfully, you get back and you lost. Oh, that's clever! Which means that you can't, like, turn these fights either. You actually need to physically go for an attack in order to have the ability to defend. That's clever! That's really clever! Rosmi Zebi 
and Ajna. Whole new cast of characters. Now Zebby can attack three times in a row. And I believe we have full health. And also my voice cracked, but you know, whatever. Going down. I didn't do that right. I guess you can't. Or did you not attack? Because I don't remember attacking them. Oh, wait. Dang, right. I forgot. Gage. I need Gage to defend. Ow. Oh, oh. Okay. Can't turtle. I can't attack yet. Or I can't defend yet. I guess at the beginning, I think I can draw his name because there's no Gage coming. Alright, at that point. There we go. Check this out. Not. Go, 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 not so fast. Not so fast. Haha. I have figured out the sy the system of the game. You cannot stop me now. I am invincible. Heads up. Boom. Yes. Yes, this feeling is amazing. Alright, so we can't do anything with this. Good to note. Yeah. Uno. Dos. Yeah. Tres. Let's do it! Everybody. Look out below! Hands up! This is this is nice. I like this. Having a specific pattern for how every enemy attacks too is really, really impressive. Look out below! Yeah, there we go. He's gonna attack again. Check this out. Just a continuous onslaught. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I'm glad I did, though. Come on, Ajna, finish it off. Yeah. I, I, oh, oh. All right, here we go. Boss time. He's gonna cheaply damage you in the beginning. Oh, turtle, turtle, cage. Dang it. Keep forgetting about that. Incoming! On point! Alright. 
attacked. Everybody, and he attacks fast. All right. No time to react. All right, on. Uh, ow. Uh, fine. I defended. Why didn't it do to defend this? Alright, never mind. Yeah. Ow! Alright, Roz me. Heads up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. You can't spawn enemies. That's not fair. Look out below. Alright, alright. 
attack everybody, right? No. Stop complaining. Check this out, right? Very nice. Ow! Ow! Oh, Tumbo's almost down. Stay back! Try it again. Go, 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 go. Look out below. You need to be at, on guard at all times. Yeah. 
Zebra, after the first one, Zebra's ah! refills pretty quickly, <laughs> so that's probably, he's probably gonna be my main damage dealer. Yes, we are Whatever. 
Get back on defensive. <laughs> yes! Yes! All right. Let's go, Rody. I knew it. I 49 47. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so it's about an hour long video. All right. Press start to open this page now or any of Yeah, no. I already have I've already donated it. So, if you liked what you see today, uh go and visit the page the um Indiegogo page that I'm going to link it down in the description below and play this for yourself. Um, see how you like it, see if you want it, and if you. And I really suggest that you uh, put in for, you know, some sort of donation. They're working hard on this and I see a lot of potential in it. So, this has been VCI 100 with the Indivisible Prototype video, and I will see you guys in another video.